Hello everyone, welcome back. Bill Coyle here. We're at the new KHM headquarters in Brunswick, Ohio, and really excited to have you. So we're super, super fortunate to be here today with Amanda. Amanda's our digital marketing manager here at KHM. She's here to talk about social media. You might already be on Facebook or have an Instagram account, but we're going to specifically talk about Facebook today. So Amanda, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Thank talk you. Talk about Facebook. Yeah, okay, thank you, Bill. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to talk about social media and crash your travel agent tips party because this is something that tra our travel agents ask about all the time. Yes, it is so important. And why is social media such a common avenue for travel agent marketing? Well, as you know, everyone is already on social media, you know, whether it be Facebook or Twitter or, you know, Pinterest, people, you know, are already there. Yeah. And, you know, we always encourage, that's where, you know, people are going to start to communicate with, with their friends about their business, their family, um, maybe people outside of that circle. So, you know, it's a great place to engage with people. And then the other thing about it is that it's free. It's free to have a Facebook business page. It's free to be on Instagram. Um, and it's a great place to show your expertise and your passion for travel. It's kind of hard to believe because when I started, we did not have social media. So it's just amazing that this is an avenue that's available to them. Where do we start? As a travel agent, where do you, where do you recommend that we begin? Any number of places you get started. With Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. We always encourage agents to start with Facebook because no matter who you are, your audience is on Facebook. Um, it's still the most widely used social network and um, there's so many opportunities to create groups on Facebook. Um, you can invite people to the groups, you can have events and invite people to those events on Facebook. So there's just a lot of different ways to engage with people as a business owner. Um, you can even engage with other travel agents on there, which is another you know, yes. big perk for our agents too. So, um, but you don't have to be on every platform. And so then the question becomes is what do we post? Are we doing promotionals, travel tips? What is it that we're posting? Um, well, I mean, there's so many possibilities here. You can post supplier promotions. We, you know, we connect our agents with a lot of great supplier graphics, um, resources for them. We have in-house created a lot of different graphics, a lot of different resources, videos, um, content for our agents to share about their value, about their love of travel. But I would say that the biggest thing that agents need to share is about themselves. They need to share, you know, these personal travel experiences that, that yeah. they have. They need to share the research that they're doing for their for their clients. They need to share, you know, when they get a new certificate because they completed a course, like share those things because that builds trust with people. That shows that you're a professional and that you're actually, you know, in this business and that you're learning about the best ways to help people experience the world. So I, I love those suggestions and I love those ideas because they work well for our agency, but how do we stay consistent and we not getting overwhelmed? So, you know, a lot of agents do get a little bit like writer's block when they go down to, to post every day. Um, and I always suggest the best thing for that is just to keep track of the ideas you have. You know, the other thing to do is Facebook has functionality that allows you to schedule posts for, you know, into eternity. <laughs> it's a great way to save time, not get overwhelmed, just take, you know, an hour a week or something and, and do it and schedule yeah. those posts. That's a great tool for us also mm -hmm. because there's a lot of things going on and sometimes if you pre-schedule <laughs> them, then you know you're in great shape. Yeah. How do we know what's working? How do we how do we find out what we're doing is right. actually working? Right. Well, I mean, it is not an exact science, right? I mean, what works for you might not work for another travel agent. I think that's important for people to know. So in Facebook, they have a whole area called insights, and you can look at your demographics of your followers. You can see which posts people really liked, um, the ones that they engage with the most. So you really should be checking that every month, or you know, at least every six weeks or two months right. to see what. It, what works, you know, if you had things that people really liked or things that people didn't respond to at all, that's going to help you move forward and figure out what people are actually responding to. You so, realized you, know. you opened up my eyes last week when you sent me ours. <laughs> you know, I, you could, you could come over and show me them, but when mm -hmm. you sent it to me and I looked it over, took the time to look it over, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have never guessed that this mm -hmm. was doing this, this, and this, and what, what the impact <laughs> of that was. So I really appreciated that. I think that I think as a, as a travel agent, we don't think of ourselves as business owners and the ability to look at analytics and how does that look to us and you know what can we do to make that better. But believe me, it pays off to look at that. It does. And you know, it does require some patience too. Obviously, you know, like you're not going to sit there and, and look at it every day. But no. like I said, if you look at it once a month, once every, yes. you know, six weeks or something like that, you can see your progress. 
Um, it is really important to be patient though because these things take time, like we're talking about building trust, that takes time. <laughs> so, you know, if you get to a business page and you have 100 followers and, you know, you post something and you get 10 likes on it, that's actually really good because average engagement on Facebook is less than 10%. I think now it's like five or 6%. Amazing. So you have to be realistic in your expectations, you know, just because you put something out there and you have a hundred followers doesn't mean you're gonna get a hundred comments or you know a hundred people asking you about about your trip. Um, well, is yeah. it is it them telling you that they're not interested in that or maybe that they scrolled through they didn't like it doesn't mean they're not interested but mm -hmm. they they're gonna wait until that that big one hits them. Yeah, or until they you know see something that really speaks to them that they're like yes. oh man i have to do this i have to get to alaska i have to go on that safari or whatever it is you know and wouldn't that make you feel so good even if you got mm -hmm. one out of the hundred oh yeah out of 10, just to say oh my gosh i did something that that <laughs> engaged someone and now they're contacting me about yeah it. even if someone you know you get the little hearts that that way you know they took the time to not just do the thumbs up yes because <laughs> really you're you're planting the seed for something down the road yeah. right it, maybe it's not something that they're going to do right now but as long as you put it out there they're going to know oh geez i'm going back to amanda or i'm going back to bill because i know mm -hmm. eventually they're going to want to contact me about this yeah it's it's a long game um it's just staying on their minds you know and making sure that whenever they are on facebook they have you know the opportunity to go to your page and see that you've yeah. posted something new that you're still in business <laughs> right. so that's you know again where being consistent is important i love that you said be patient mm -hmm. you know and and then you just said be consistent right so is is it persistent or consistent you know and i think that that that's something that is a challenge for us as travel agents you know persistency might show that you're you're not patient and you're just putting it out there putting it out there mm -hmm. consistent means that you've got a plan mm -hmm. you know, you've got that long-term plan and you know exactly where you're going yeah. and i think that that's something we got to think about because i see a lot of agents just throw things out there mm -hmm. at random and, and i'll reach out to them and i'll say oh i didn't know that you were selling that type of travel <laughs> Well, I'm not, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. I'm like, no, let's be consistent with what you yeah. know, where you feel comfortable, and where you want to go. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's true. You can kind of tailor what you want to sell on your Facebook page, right? So if you don't want to be selling something or you don't know about it, don't post about it. Yeah. You don't have to. Focus on what you do know and what you do want to sell and who you want to sell to. Um, that's key because you know people will ask you and then you don't want to be caught saying well so um we could talk about this all day long <laughs> we can go on and on and on forever but you're right it's be patient right and it and it's don't panic if you don't get a million requests mm -hmm. yeah and i mean it again it might not be the right platform for you i guess it, that's what it comes down to if you don't if you see that you keep doing it and you feel like you're being authentic in it and showing your passion and then you just don't don't find that engagement like that's okay maybe Maybe there's another avenue for you to to pursue your marketing yeah. plan. So. Yeah, and thanks for bringing that up because that is something we can talk about. Mm -hmm. We need to know from you what you what your needs are. What are your marketing needs? What can we help you with? Um, we we definitely want to. Um, because KHM has all of the tools that are necessary out there, we want to help you guys. So if you've got any comments, if you've got any questions, please post them in the, in the uh, comments below and be sure to watch our videos in the future because this isn't the only time we're going to be talking about this social media platform and what we feel is best for you and your business. So Amanda, thanks again for being with us. Thank you. KHM appreciates having you and, and we just love all the interaction that we've got going on in the social media and marketing department. Thanks so much for being with us. Have a great day.